Hey there, defense enthusiasts! Today, let's dive into India's jet engine quest and explore why it's been such a rocky road, why it's critical to develop this technology immediately, and why Western countries might be a bit nervous if India pulls it off. First up, why has India struggled to develop its own fighter jet engine? Jet engines are incredibly complex beasts. We're talking extreme thermodynamics, advanced material science, and top-notch precision engineering. Only a handful of nations have truly mastered this technology. India also faces material limitations. High-performance engines need advanced single-crystal turbine blades and high-temperature alloys. Unfortunately, these aren't readily available to India. Remember the Kaveri engine program from the 1980s? It faced delay after delay and performance issues, especially with the thrust-to-weight ratio, set it back significantly. Currently, India relies on foreign engines from the likes of GE in the USA, Rolls-Royce in the UK, and Klimov in Russia. This dependence means India's fighter jets are at the mercy of other nations' tech and supply chains. And let's not forget the money. Compared to the US or China, India's investment in defense R&D and private aerospace manufacturing has been historically low. So why does India need to develop jet engine technology right now? For starters, strategic autonomy. Without its own engine technology, India remains dependent on foreign powers, who could delay, deny, or restrict supplies when it matters most. National security is another biggie. In wartime, foreign engine supply chains can be disrupted, leaving India's air power vulnerable. That's a risk no country wants to take. Developing jet engines also aligns with India's Make in India goals, aiming for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Plus, it opens up export potential. Indigenous engines could make Indian fighter jets like the Tejas more attractive for other countries without needing foreign clearance. Mastering engine tech also boosts broader aerospace capabilities. Think drones and hypersonic missiles. It's a technological leap India can't afford to miss. Now, why are Western countries nervous about India developing this technology? For one, it means a loss of strategic leverage. Western nations often use engine dependency as a bargaining chip in geopolitics. There's also market competition. If India starts making its own engines, it threatens the global market share of Western defense giants like GE and Rolls-Royce. A self-reliant India with its own engines boosts its status as a global military and technological power, shifting the balance of power. Plus, there's the worry about technology security. Sharing or reverse engineering jet engine tech could challenge Western military tech dominance. And let's not forget the regional balance shift. A stronger Indian Air Force with indigenous engines changes the power dynamics in Asia, especially regarding China and Pakistan. So that's the lowdown on India's jet engine quest. It's a complex, high-stakes game, and the world is watching closely. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more on defense and technology. See you next time.